this would be better if we had chairs and a table and we were indoors. Then it wouldn't be a picnic. I like picnics because you can lie down in the middle of dinner. And they're so romantic. Your father and I used to do this all the time. When we were dating. Ew, Mom, Dad, you're being all affectionate and stuff. You'll learn how to sweep a girl off her feet one day, Ryan. Your father sure did that. How did you and Mom meet? I mean, I know it was in high school. That's not what I heard. Mom and Dad met when they were little kids. You're both right. Sort of. We kind of met twice. It's a pretty interesting story. It all began when we were 10 years old. Ah! Uh. <laughs> yes! All right, how many is that? That was E. H-O-R-S-E. I win. I thought the game was horses. <laughs> no, it's horse. You're just trying not to lose. Let's play horse radish. See, I'm still in the game. <laughs> oh, Alan, I have to eat my lunch. I'm starving. Hey, let's have a picnic. I think it's not officially a picnic until we sit on a blanket. Hmm, how about this tarp? Aw, oh, Mom, baloney again? Baloney's just a bunch of baloney. Maybe that's why they call it that. Why does my mom think I like this? Just give me a piece of pizza and a Twinkie. I'm a growing boy. Ooh, I got a fruit roll-up. Lucky. Hey, my apple! I thought those guys only collected nuts. I'll get it. Stop, you're under arrest. You're not cute, you're an apple burglar. Alan, be careful. He's not getting away with this. <laughs> I got him, I got him. Whoa! Alan, are you okay? Ow, I think I sprained my arm. Oh, Alan, I knew you were going to hurt yourself. Come on, let's go to the nurse's office. I almost had him. Curse you, squirrel. <laughs> and then that summer, Midge moved away. She was just a playground friend, but I missed her for a long time. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, I think we know the story has a happy ending. But how? Did you run across the country to find her like Forrest Gump? <laughs> no, nothing like that. Wait, you mailed yourself in a big package and surprised her. Well, that would have been a very romantic gesture, but it's probably illegal. As the years went by, I actually forgot about Midge. <laughs> How could you? It was seven years. I was a kid. And to be honest, I forgot about Alan too. But then my dad got a job that brought us back to town. In high school. Oh, I get it now. The end. That can't be the end. She didn't just walk up to him and say, remember me, let's get married. It took a little more than that. Totally rad, dudes. See you later. Maybe we can listen to that Duran Duran album on the way to Blockbuster. Man, I love the late 80s. Hey, Alan. Oh, 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 oh hi, Midge. How, 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 how you doing? <laughs> Come on, I wasn't that dorky. I mean, you were pretty, but I was a little cooler than that. Not the way I remember it. Well, let me tell it. Well, hello, Midge. Have you gotten a tour of the school yet? What tour? The tour of the famous Carmel High. You know, the athletic field, the local blockbuster. I know this place like the back of my swatch. Oh, I have a swatch too. Isn't the late 80s great? I was actually just about to have lunch. I usually eat over by the football field. I guess I'm a picnic guy, you know? It's kind of my thing. You did not say that. Well, maybe not exactly like that. What, were you a part of a teenage picnic gang? Did you join the picnic club? All right, all right. Anyway, he asked me to sit down for lunch, and it happened to turn into a picnic. It all felt very familiar, but we didn't know why. This all feels very familiar, but I can't figure out why. Of course it's familiar. It's lunch. Most people eat it every day. I mean, the whole picnic thing. With you. 
But I only met you last week. Weird. The school lunches here are pretty good. You know, for school lunches. I mean, they're better than bologna, bologna sandwiches. sandwiches. What's going on here? Have we met? Maybe we have a class together. It's more than that. I feel like I've known you for years somehow. But we just met. Whoa! That little pack rat just stole your fries. Oh, that's okay. No, it's not. Not today. But hang on. I'll get them back. Ugh. Oh, don't go up a tree after it. I've got him cornered. He's got nowhere to hide. You're going to fall. Relax. I'll be fine. I'm captain of the tree climbing club here. That's a club? Okay, it's not officially recognized, but we have four members and a charter, and uh, whatever. <laughs> Listen up, Squirrely. Hand over the fries. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. And when Alan fell out of that tree, it finally hit me. He was the same boy who fell out of a tree to save my lunch years ago. And when I once again felt the tremendous pain in my arm, I realized I'd done this before, for the same girl. It, it was, was meant, meant to be. be. You're Alan! <laughs> hey, and you're Midge, from fourth grade? Wow. Hey, could you call an ambulance? Let me know if you need anything, hon. Does it hurt? Oh, it's not that bad. You sure know how to get a girl's attention. Well, I am pretty suave. Oh, oh. Maybe we should try this again sometime. Oh, yes, we should. Would you still like that tour of the school? Or maybe we can sit in actual chairs in an actual restaurant. How about I bring a blanket and we eat in the park under the stars? Yeah, I'd like that. Ah, that was romantic. It only took you seven years to finally ask her out. Sometimes you have to wait for the right moment. I think we were always meant to be together. It just took another picnic to realize it. Wow, Dad. You must really hate squirrels now. Yes. Yes, I do.